السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر چلڈرن دس از دا کنٹینیوٹی اف یونٹ نمبر 14 لاسٹ کلاس ائی اینڈڈ ائی ہوپ وتھ دا پوسٹ فرٹیلائزیشن چینجز اوکے اینڈ ائی تھنک یو ہیو وی ہیو ورکڈ آن اٹ اینی وے دس ا سمال ریمائنڈر ٹو یو in the post fertilization changes ovary turns to fruit ovary turns to fruit wall of the ovary wall of the ovary turns to pericarp the fertilized ovule the fertilized ovule will develop to seed wall of the ovule will turn to seed coat and other parts are there no sepals petals stamen stigma all of them will disappear they dry and fall down in some fruits you will see the sepals are pending you can see here these green color crowns these green crowns belongs to the sepals in them the sepals don't drop from the flower it becomes a part of the fruit in guava in brinjal in mangosteen in rose apple you can notice this green crown so these ones are post fertilization changes after fertilization what are the changes going on are given here you have to take a note for that ovary turn to fruit wall of the ovary turns to pericarp fertilized ovule turns to seed wall of the ovule turns to seed coat sepals petals stamen stigma they are drying and dropping then in some fruits sepals don't drop they become a part of the fruit that's all so passing that we are coming to this heading parthenocarpy if we take parthenocarpy generally in the fruit development fertilization you know fertilization the egg and the sperm otherwise male nucleus fusing to form a zygote then the zygote will develop into an embryo and that is called partheno sorry that is called fertilization if fertilization occurs only there will be hormone released to turn the ovary to fruit but in some plants without fertilization you will notice fruits are developing those fruits will not have seeds hope all of you have experiences of eating seedless grapes seedless oranges okay banana pineapple are normally seedless we don't see seeds in them so grapes orange and apples we apply artificial growth substances or hormone and make them turn to fruit in banana and pineapple these things are naturally happening anyway parthenocarpy fruits don't have seed if you notice a fruit without seeds then you can decide it is the outcome of parthenocarpy further after 
could send seeds are uh, produced. Now they should go from their mother plant, okay, their mother plant to other places for their uh, germination. The main thing it is, now say for a simple example, a mango tree, say it produces 200 mangoes. All the mangoes fall down under the tree and they grow under the tree. Will there be enough space under the tree for the growth of 200 mango plants? Confirmly no. So, Falling down the mother plant and growing near to the mother plant is not favorable. These ones have to go to other places where they can get all the facilities for their growth. That's why dispersal occurs. So what is dispersal? Here you are given spreading away of the fruits and seeds from the mother plant is called uh, dispersal, okay? Fruits can disperse, seeds can disperse, okay? When fruits are dispersing, seeds also disperse. In some instances, fruits don't disperse, seeds will be dispersed. Anyway, why dispersal is very important? One, it is to reduce the competition under the mother plant in less space there, less water there, less nutrients there. So if all of them are growing under the mother plant, none of them will get sufficient amount of nutrients, water, light, space, nothing. So they have to go. By going outside, they are finding new new places where they can well grow that's why you are told new habitats are found the third one diversity is increased when they go to new places in those places according to the new environment new changes will occur in them and finally new new plants will appear that is increasing diversity, new, 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 lots of varieties of plants appearing, that is increasing the diversity. And finally, protection from pests and agents of diseases. The point it is, when you take the plants are near, near, they can be easily attacked by other animals, Pests like animals and bacteria, virus, fungus like disease causing agents. When they are far away, okay, when one is attacked, other one is safe. When all of them are together, when one is affected, everyone is affected. Think of COVID-19, okay, why they are not recommending to stay as a group. For the people, if one is infected easily, others will be infected. If you keep distance, when one is infected, other one has less chance for infection. Same idea followed here, naturally. Okay, in the dispersal, the fruit, the seed has to go from one place to another place. To go from one place to another place, there are Four dispersal agents or dispersal methods considered. One, some fruits are carried by animals. Some fruits are fruits and seeds are carried by water. Some fruits and seeds are carried by animals. Some fruits and seeds are carried by water. Some fruits and seeds are uh, carried by wind. And some are carried or 
dispersed by a method called explosive mechanism. Fine. Now, first let's go to the dispersal by animals. In the case of dispersal by animals, right? There are several adaptations to be dispersed by animals. Most of these adaptations are helping to uh, attract the animals, okay, or to stick to the animal. One will be attracting the animal, other one is sticking to the animal. Now, first adaptation to be dispersed by animals is having succulent edible parts. In that case, animals will come towards a mango to eat that flesh part of mango. Okay? Or animals will come towards a papo to eat its flesh part edible part when they come for it they will carry the mango from one place to another right that is one method second attractive colors if beautiful colors are in the fruits red color yellow color, bright yellow color, orange color, hot colors. They are well attracting the animals, mainly birds. Bats will be attracted and that will help them to uh, travel. Okay. Now, when the animal, the animal who comes to eat the whole fruit of cashew, will carry the cashew, okay, simply thing like this. Cashew fruit I'm searching for. Cashew fruit. When you look at the cashew fruit, some people say Jesus made this fruit. Okay. That's why he has placed the seed outside. Generally, seed will be staying inside. No? Here it is staying outside. This is the seed and this is the fruit and this fruit is called false fruit. This false fruit, okay, is very tasty and animals are attracted towards it. After carrying this fruit to another place, after eating the false fruit, they will throw the seed. And that seed now go to a new place because of the animal, right? So that is one adaptation. Passing that, once you come to the next one, having hooks or hairs that assist attachment to the animal body to get attached they are helping. One example given to you is Naga Dharana. Singhala word Naga Dharana. The English word is Martinia. Okay. In internet, okay, we have to search it as Martinia seed. Martinia seed. Okay. This is the Martinia seed. You can see it. It has, gets the shape of the head of a cobra. To that reason, it is 
called uh, Nagadharana. Right? It is the seed. This green color part is the fruit. It is the seed. The bug is the seed. Seed only getting dispersed. These uh, hooks are helping to cling on the animal's body. Right? Another example. Another example you are given it is Amanak. Singhala word Eppala. Amanak. It is Resinas. Okay. So, actually, you keep the word Eppala for you. Okay. You don't take the word Amanak. It's a wrong translation. Okay. Eppala seeds. Uh, okay. Eppala is not Amanak. It's wrongly uh, translated. So don't take that Tamil word. You take that uh, Singhala word. Okay? And there is another one called Lau grass. In Singhala, it is called Tuttiri. Tuttiri. Okay? Tuttiri. Right? <clears throat> so, don't take the word Amanak, take the word Epala. Love grass is called Tuttiri and Nagadharana. And uh, they have hooks, ass like structures for the dispersal. Another one it is uh, having different, different colors and shapes. To cheat the animals. Oil caster. It is the Amanak. Oil caster is the Amanak. Okay. If you look at the oil caster seeds. Okay. If you take a look at the oil caster seeds. The oil caster seed will look like. A small insect. Kuti 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 insects like. So birds are cheated thinking they are insects. So birds will pick them thinking insects go to other places and try them. In that case when they find it is not an insect when they are trying to eat it. They will throw and go. In that place, they are dispersed. Another example you are given, okay, it is mudatiya. In Tamil, they 